He went seven, so I'm going to go one. Wow. Congratulations. You are <laughs> Nathan Oakley. Oh, for fuck's oh. sake. <laughs> fuck. Okay, give me, a, give me a second to prepare my accent. No problem. Do you have a blow-up doll that you can also smack around? <laughs> Beat me fucking to it, Red. Okay, all right, let's go. All right. Um, all right, repeat the first question so I can attack these one at sure. a time. Uh, why can't we see motherfuckers upside down? All right. Um, well, you see, you're not going to see motherfuckers upside down on the earth because I've flown around the earth as an international salesman, okay? The earth is not a globe. There is no such thing as an upside down person in Australia because Australia simply does not exist. Prove me otherwise and prove ah. <laughs> you got into it. Uh, uh, I, I feel like you, you came into it there at the end. I feel like you came into it, it there. It was, and you forgot to ask if she was the end. And you forgot to ask if she was stupid or just a moron. Or uh, you could have went with uh, this is my personal favorite. Um, please no cussing. If you do cuss, you'll be asked to leave. But don't worry, you'll be invited back on the next round. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, this... unless you're a friend of mine, then you can say whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. The I'm, next, the next part of that. Well, I'm troll or not troll, but I have a feeling this is not troll. Is it? The next part of that, team skeptic, and you don't have to. Um, this is where you can actually you can give a serious answer. Why are all of the uh, the images that we've seen of the Earth all different? Why are they they well, completely different shades of colors? All of that stuff. Okay. So. The the way that the camera is going to – the way the camera obtains the picture is going to be dependent upon what you're actually going to be able to see. So there's different types of cameras. There's different types of lenses. There's cameras that can be much closer to the earth and have a much wider lens that's going to make the shape of a, a continent appear to be stretched out over what appears to be a sphere. But what you're actually looking at is only a small portion of the sphere – but you're looking at it with a wide angle, and that's why things are going to appear different sizes. As far as the different colors, that's uh, an erroneous claim, and it goes back to also being, you know, dependent upon what kind of filter and what kind of camera you use, you'll get the detail. But there are pictures of, you know, very detailed color of water that is in California, for instance. There's a, uh, there's this, I saw it on a, uh, on a video. It's talking about weird stuff that they found on Google Earth. And it was a completely pink body of water. You know, I mean, the, the, the satellites were able to pick up this, this, uh, co- the different colors of this water. So this, I don't know what she is, or Deanna. I guess uh, Deanna's completely wrong, and she's a fucking idiot. <laughs> I knew that was I, – I had a feeling the bell was coming. I, I could feel it coming. <laughs> All right. Um, I believe it's Jared's turn. Uh, again, Jared, are you ready? Unfortunately. Oh, you're not ready. Here we go. <laughs> water doesn't look that dark. There's places where water looks green, water looks light blue, water looks fucking red. Why can't we see that on the satellite images? We've already answered that. Um, Robert. During certain times of the year, I know they don't just take pictures of the Earth one time a year. They have to do it a lot, right? So how come there are no pictures of, like, snow in North America and stuff like that during winter? (laughs) Why are there no pictures of the globe where... um, why Why are there no pictures of the globe during, like, hurricanes and stuff like that? How come we don't see that happening from space, like, a whole, like, globe picture of... This is so easy for you, Jared. Space, you know oh, saying? yes, like, it is. How come... Uh, uh, you um, could stop it now, <laughs> because he's it's just repeating or anything like you that gotta get, when we see a picture of the We gotta globe. get this last part in right here. I believe that they just, you know, put a whole bunch of, like, random-ass pictures together, honestly. I don't believe, like, they God. actually went out into oh, space God. and took that fucking picture. Because I feel like there's so much missing from the photos. Okay, so she feels like there's so much missing from the photos. Why aren't we taking 
images of hurricanes that are huge that we watch flop, go around the globe and incoming in uh, making landfall why don't they show those jared why don't they take pictures of hurricanes from space and uh pick a number i've condensed three. them so three well you get half of the uh the power duo of gavin dale you are gav oh god damn it <clears throat> All right, then. Well, see, what we have here is just your complete, absolute lack and ability to do some actual fucking research, my dear. Because you say that they don't have these images, but I could take ten seconds and pull up a couple hundred of them showing exactly what you are asking for. You want to see North America covered in snowfall? Get off your lazy ass, bitch, and do your research. <laughs> That was, was well answered too. I think um, you've got you've got to mention your physics degree from Glasgow. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Or make I, or make those weird noises. Those oh, the, I can't even do it. That weird noises that he does. Oh, what is that? That, that shriek that he does. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, but see, that's the thing. She's she's asking for images that are taken all the fucking time. I, and actually, there's one source that will show you the Pacific half of the world doing just that, showing the weather. And it does it about every eight minutes. It's called Himawari. Yep. Uh, you got an easy one there. Um, we're, we're about uh, – we're almost there. We've got – a question for Reds and then a question for Team Skeptic, and we'll be done with round one. So, oh, um, fuck. Reds, let's find out what Dana has for you. Every body of land is not the same. There's places where, places where there's complete, You've complete this. snow. How come we can't see these globe pictures? Okay. And I know you're probably thinking, well, if that's the case, then why the fuck is there not a picture of flat Earth? Because the scientists don't want us to know that the Earth is flat. Because of if we feel, if we actually found we out that the this. Earth was flat, then a lot of the other stuff that we believe to be fiction and fairy tales and shit would have to be true too. Right. And I could tell you how in another video. Like Peter Pan. I'm not gonna get into it too much in this video. This video was just me asking questions about the globe. You got two and more measurements and shit like that. How do you figure out these measurements? We did go. you get a measuring tape? Or did you go <laughs> out there? Like what object went to the sun? And y'all said I remember this because it was written in one of my textbooks, one of them fucking McDougal Hill, whatever the fuck books that we had back in like middle school. I remember them saying in the damn book that we could not get even close to the sun because the sun was too damn hot and it would burn you within like thousands of miles so if that's the case then what the fuck or who the fuck went close to the sun so that we know that it's not uh what is it 93 million miles away okay um yes I, i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna repeat that even though it pains me to have to ask this question um reds uh what did we use to measure the earth and who the fuck went to the sun to measure how far the sun is from the earth? Who risked their life to take a measuring tape to the sun to figure out how far away it, it was from us? And um, you can answer as soon as you pick a number. Oh, fuck. What, choice, what options do I have? God damn it. You have, uh, you have two and six. Which one is more and triggering four. to conspiratorians? Oh, you're going to want to go with two. Um, well, I'm going to want to go with two. You mm -hmm. know what? I, I'm going to trust you, and that automatically is a really bad idea. I know yeah, this, but fuck one. it. <laughs> I already picked that. I, you, know, okay. you know what? You. Please be uh, Dell. Please be Dell. It is, in fact, Dell. It is the other <laughs> half of uh, the, <sighs> the, the, the yes. Flat Earth power duo so um right now uh reds is being moved into a plywood shelter we uh we are doing things authentic here as soon as he is in place in the plywood shelter and he has his angry face on and his his shirt ripped a little bit at the top we will uh, ask him for his answer to the question um how do you figure out the measurements of the earth and who the fuck went to the sun to uh measure how far away it was from us Please excuse me while I inject the steroid right into my fucking dick. Mm -hmm. ah, fucking noob. There it is. So there we go. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so let's let's tackle these questions one at a time. What was what's the first question I should I should answer? The first question is how did we figure out the measurement of the Earth, or how do we measure how large the Earth is? Okay, um, you're a delusional, incompetent moron. Haven't you ever heard of Eratosthenes and the fucking two sticks and the sun? This is simple fucking trigonometry, and you couldn't fucking do two fucking seconds of research on Google to figure this shit out? I mean, obviously the education system failed ye, but god damn it, that we have the Google. The Googles do all the fucking research for you. You're fucking wanker. You're fucking wanker. <laughs> oh, that was excellent. That was excellent. All right. Uh, the rest of the the rest of the question is the in a serious way. How did we measure how far away the sun is? She asked that like somebody actually took a measuring device from planet Earth to the sun. But in reality, it's how how did we figure out how far away the sun is from us? Uh, it was by uh, Giovanni Cassini and his assistant uh, Richier, I believe it's pronounced. They measured the distance of the sun in 1672. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm just going to repeat that for her in case she tuned out. They measured to the, they measured the distance of the sun in 1672. And the way they did that they did this was by using parallax to Mars and they were also able to confirm later on via a transit of Venus. And by uh, using Kepler's third law, they were able to derive that the distance of the sun is actually around 150 million kilometers. For those of you who don't know, um, it's a mixture of trigonometry, Kepler's third, third law, which is the square of the orbital period of an object is proportional to the cube of the semi-major axis. And with that, you're able to figure out quite accurately the distance of the sun. And they were able to get an answer that was accurate to within 1.4%. Not bad for 1672. I just, I just got an erection right there. Just listening to Math that. is a thing. Not, yeah. not hey. bad for fucking 2018. And for her for her to not under, understand this via it's basically on Wikipedia, you're a fucking incompetent delusional moron. Now, excuse <laughs> me. You wasted enough, to, enough of my fucking time. I need to rebuild my fucking shit and actually insert more steroids into my fucking dick, and you just took time away from that. Fuck you. Fuck that. Fuck off. I'm out of here. Red's red's rhetoric. <laughs> fucking noob. You fucking noob. That's fucking amazing. Noob. What, what's uh, um, what's have you have you watched? You guys have seen the way that Conspiracy Cats plays uh, or puts Dale in all oh. of his. Oh, it's hilarious. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. Can, can I just add something to this? Because she was talking about science books um, back in her day, right? Uh, guess what? Science changes, right? I mean, with the Parker probe, we we have newer materials being made. We have ceramic paints that we know are heat resistant. We have newer technology that allows us to do, do greater and greater things. So back then, yeah, they probably didn't even think of the possibility of getting, you know, several thousand kilometers for, or million kilometers from the sun with the Parker probe like they have now. But we have technology that allows us to do this because of ceramics. And by the way, they've just captured a photo from the sun with the streamers and I think it's Mercury in the background. Amazing. It's out there, mm -hmm. um, and also they can determine visually when you have like a coronal mass ejection how long it takes visually to see it from seven and a half some odd minutes to when it actually arrives. All done by math, all <laughs> consistent with million miles. Yeah, math it works. Bitches. I don't know if you guys listened it to the beginning, but she clearly stated that she did not want scientific answers that were hard <laughs> to understand, and um, you're just not you're, you're not. Then, then the simple answer is this: trigonometry. No. Learn but, it, bitch. Um, well, and and even then, the better response to that is tough shit, cupcake. Um, we go. got, like we've got we've got we've got one more in this in this round. Uh, by the way, you have all done stellar, uh, amazing, uh, way better than I thought. Uh, this was this one right here is the clincher, though. For some reason, this one is last, and I was hoping this one would be the last one because this is going to be <laughs> this is going to be the one. Okay, this is the voice to get. So uh, your question, Team Skeptic, is uh, it's 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 a pretty. How do we know that? It's a pretty easy question. Um, How do we know? <laughs> That's all I want to know. <laughs> How do we know these things? How do we really, 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 really know how far things are? How do we know how old things are? It's just a lot of stuff that's just unexplained, and I don't get it. So that. Okay, um, so that basically to wrap up her question, 
how do we know how old the Earth is? Um, is was what she continues to go on, and this is the last question that she has. And I actually I reached out to Deanna. Um, she at at first was uh, interested in coming on. I haven't heard back from her since we had that initial contact. So if you watch.